Olab has been out for a while now, and we have so many mods. Some mods are good, some mods are weird, and out of all these mods, I made a list of the top 50 Bonelab mods of all time. Enjoy. One vehicle that I really like is the Titanfall North Star, and it even spawns in like this. In a couple seconds, this thing will just launch on the ground here. That was so cool. And you can now enter this. You can basically become like a puppeteer of this vehicle. You enter it like this. Although this thing is quite hard to control, especially with some avatars, it still really works and it's so sick. I can kind of move forward like this and that makes it so cool. So yeah, that's the Titanfall North Star. Now we got the UH-60. And this is basically a big helicopter. You could basically open it and close it like this. And then you climb in. And then right here you have the seat. It also shoots, as you can see. It shoots shoots many bullets and you can literally fly this thing and it's pretty functional so it's a great mod and the fact that it also has like weapons is so cool so yeah that was the u60 helicopter you also have this ferrari and it literally works it doesn't really go that fast but the fact that it looks this good is pretty cool and it looks great from the outside too it's like really shiny and stuff that's why i really like this mod so yeah that's the ferrari okay so this vehicle is called the fliegel gigu and it's basically like an oppressor mod Mark II from GTA. Let's drive it. As you can see, I kind of suck at driving this. It's pretty fun to like travel around places with this thing. And when you jump off, it has its own wheel. So yeah, that's the Fligo Giguma. This is the Hover Junker. It's a pretty cool vehicle. And it's a thing from Hover Junkers. The game made by the same developers as from Bone Lab. It's a pretty cool vehicle. The fact that it's this big is so cool. Even though it's quite hard to control this thing, it's still quite a cool vehicle. So yeah, that's the Hover Junker. Now, we have the super sled mod and this thing is pretty cool it's basically a sled it's a pretty cool mod but yeah it has rocket engines like this and that makes it pretty cool oh my god these rockets make me go so fast can we fly oh no we can't fly damn it let's see if i can fly with the super sled going off of this okay let's go come on <laughs> no, i don't think you can fly with this one it's still quite a cool vehicle though so yeah that's the super sled it's just such a fun vehicle to mess around with and you should definitely try this mod for your so okay the next vehicle we have is the lightning mcqueen mod this mod is so good that it doesn't even work next we have the bone tube the bone tube is a nice vehicle for slides like these oh shit oh my god Ooh. <laughs> no we're gonna go out of the map it's just perfect for slides like these yeah you can just have some fun while seated in the bone tube so yeah that's the bone tube it's loads of fun to use this one so you should try it out for yourself does your VR microphone sound like garbage? Well, I got something for you. I'm currently using the Antlion Mod Mic Wireless, and I think it sounds amazing. And it works for VR too. The microphone has a built-in magnet, so I can just stick it on my headset here. And wow, this microphone has a ton of features, such as a easy-to-access mute button, a USB capture device, and also it's wireless. I'm using this microphone right now. So if you like what you're listening to, it's probably because I have this microphone. So yeah, if you want to get your hands on one of these microphones, you should check the link in the description below. Okay, let's go back to the video. My favorite gun mod is probably the AWM. I've used this one so many times in my trick shotting video. And in that video, I hit some insane trick shots with this gun. You also have a scope, which makes it even cooler. So yeah, that's the AWM. Probably one of my favorite gun mods. You should download it too. Another gun mod that I really like is the Ace of Spades. This revolver just looks really cool. And you can reload it like this it has like a pretty cool sight and the gun sounds are also pretty cool Okay, so next up, we have the airport shorty you flip it open like that you reload it then you shoot Yeah, it plays the fine boom sound which is dumb, but it's funny but Yeah, let's spawn some enemies and see how good this thing is Holy shit. Let's spawn a skeleton steel the most overpowered enemy in bona. Let's see what the airport shorty does to him Oh, that's absolutely nothing right so yeah funny gun it's pretty cool and bright right next up we have this big boy it's like this thing itself is already a weapon look yo what so here we have a minigun this thing shoots so many rounds per minute look i'm gonna shoot all of these forts i just killed them all so fast so yeah this minigun also acts like a jetpack look 
This actually works so well. Oh my god. So yeah, this gun is fun if you have to shoot like loads of enemies. So yeah, next up, we have this flamethrower. Oh my god. This thing is insane. Dude, I'm just burning all these forts. This is fucking insane. What? That looks cool as well. So yeah, the flamethrower is pretty cool as well. Next up, we have the banana gun. You basically reload it like this and it makes like some goofy sounds. Let's test it on some forts. I can barely aim with this thing because it bends like this, so you don't know where the bullet's gonna go. I like the ammo as well. It actually looks like a banana, like this is so real. So yeah, that's the banana gun. I think it looks really cool. Next up, we have the thunder gun. And this thing, it basically, yeah, it shoots thunders. Maybe it doesn't really look that cool, but once you test it on some forts, it will look amazing. Even the skeleton steel is probably gonna hurt from this gun. Oh my god, it just kills him instantly. And that one died as well? Oh my god. This thing is so powerful. What? So yeah, this thunder gun is pretty cool. Next up, we have the resistance crossbow. And this thing is so weird. Basically, when you have a fort and you shoot at it, this will happen. It would just completely glitch out. It also has a scope on it. I believe this is the only crossbow in Bone Lab, so that's why it's pretty cool. This mod's kind of crazy, but it is fun though, and it's cool because it's a crossbow. Now we've got maps. My favorite Bone Lab map by far is Lab Work. It's basically a Boneworks port and then handmade into Bone Lab, and it's so cool. This looks almost exactly like Boneworks. It's amazing. If you have never played Boneworks before, or you love Boneworks, you should definitely try out this map. It's so cool seeing the Boneworks story, but then in Bone Lab. What I find crazy about this map is how detailed it is. Even the TVs work, and you can also even take off the antennas, like in Boneworks. It's so amazing how much effort has been put into this map. Like, look at this. Even this stuff, just it just all works. You should download it for yourself. It's kind of a big file, so Quest users, you might have some lag, but it's definitely worth it, even with lag. I also like the 7-Eleven map, just because it has so many updates, and it has, like, specific, almost lore to it. It just looks like a normal 7-Eleven. But if you look outside, there's a character staring at you right there. I'm gonna just go there, actually. Oh, it just went away. What the fuck? Oh my god. I actually haven't played this update, so I'm kind of scared. If I get jump scared, I'm not gonna include this shit in the list. Okay, I I'm getting the fuck out, dude. This is way too scary. Probably what this map's all about is the elevator. Oh my god. That sound was not good. But yeah, anyway, this map's actually kind of scary. If you like scary maps or you like a 7-Eleven, just download this, I guess. Another map I like is the bank robber campaign. Dude, I'm gonna rob a bank with the noodle dog sword. So yeah, here you can just pick up all your weapons. I'll just get a classic MK18. So this is basically a campaign. You gotta rob this bank. It's pretty simple, but it's pretty cool. You just gotta rob the bank. Uh, you have like voice lines. This is pretty weird, but... So yeah, this is a pretty cool mission. I don't really have time in this video to complete it. Definitely try this one out for yourself. This is Codex Park. It's just a sandbox map. You can spawn different NPCs, such as a nobody. And also, probably my favorite part of this map is the hydraulic rest. And we're gonna test it out on this female. Oh my god. Whoa, what? Well, that's a pretty cool part of this map. You can also do experiments such as this. So yeah, this sandbox map is pretty cool, but I hope they add more features soon. One thing I love about Bone Lab is that there's so many Mario Kart Wii maps, such as Dry Dry Ruins. This map actually looks quite similar to the actual level, and that makes it really cool. That's why I love these type of maps. If there's gonna be a good multiplayer mod, I hope that it will support Mario Kart maps too, because playing this in multiplayer mod would be insane. It would just add Mario Kart Wii to VR, and that would be insane. So yeah, if you love Mario Kart maps, like I do, make sure to check these ones out because these are insane. This is the McDonald's map. I love this one because I've played so much Pavlov in this and I also love it because it looks really good. Like even meals from McDonald's right here. So yeah, there's not really too much to do here on your own, but with multiplayer, this would definitely be a great map. This map is pretty cool. It's called Space Lab and it basically shows all the planets and the sun, but some asteroids as well. I think this map looks crazy, especially 
especially with the sun over there. Let's go check out some of these planets. Let's go to Jupiter. Dude, this is literally spinning. That's so cool. Yo, this is sick. I think it would have been even cooler if the planets were like in order. Like this is just a pretty cool view. Let's check this one out. I don't know what this is. Wow, what? Why is there like a volcano in the middle of space? Let's check inside of the volcano. Oh, that does kill you. But yeah, this space lab map was pretty cool. Definitely check it out for yourself. Another map I love is the water park sandbox. This was probably one of the first mod maps and it looks insane. We're just gonna check out the big slide and yeah, let's have some fun in this map. So I'm going so fast. What the hell? Ooh, we got the jump now. Oh, I did a front flip. Okay, I gotta check this out. A looping in a slide? Let's go. Oh my god. Oh, dude, I'm going so fast. What the hell? Let's see if I can do the flip. Why is there a bone tube here? Yo, that was pretty cool. So yeah, if you like slides in VR, you should definitely give this map a try. One map I also love is the Woohoo Island from Wii Sports. Look, you got the Zeppelin. You got the sword fighting stadium. You got the bowling center. Dude, I want to sword fight 1v1 somebody on this map. Yeah, there's just so many memories for me for this map so yeah if this is nostalgic to you you should definitely download this map another one of these mario kart maps that i really love is the grumble volcano map it would just be so much fun if we could do this in multiplayer i just think these maps are so sick and it's quite enjoyable to race in these maps so yeah those were the bone lab mario kart maps there are so many of these mods available definitely give these a try you will love them so now we've got code mods and as first one of course spider-man mod i just love webbing around maps with the spider-man mod like this like it just makes the game so much more fun like in a spider-man avatar you use the spider-man mod you can also use this mod to complete the entire story so you could only use the spider-man mod you just basically have to fly around like spider-man so yeah that's the spider-man mod one mod that i also love is the slide scale mod you can basically make any object like way bigger with this mod as you can see i just made this golf club like insanely big and you can do this with everything also with npcs now I just got a big flushed man in my game, but I only made his upper body bigger. So his feet are still just dangling over here. You can also just make guns way bigger. I just made the airport shoddy 10 times bigger. I just made his head so big. Oh my God. So yeah, that's the slide skill mod. Another mod that is pretty funny is the bone breaking mod. Basically, it will just break all the bones of the NPCs that you spawn. This is what happens if you lose all of your bones. This is a quite extreme version though. Like what the hell am I watching? The crablet, its legs just don't move anymore. Oh, it did actually hit me. Wow. It's trying to jump towards me, but it doesn't have any legs. What? How did he... He can still jump towards me with no bones? That's weird. So yeah, that's the bone breaking mod. Another fun code mod is the gun tweaker. This mod basically gives you so many options for every gun to just completely modify it. I just made the fire rate and the velocity two times as much. Let's see what it does. Oh my god. It just completely gives me a different gun. I can fly now with this gun. Oh my god, it's a jetpack. I just made this airport shoddy do like insane amounts of damage. Let's test it. What? It killed this guy in one shot. So yeah, that was the gun tweaks mod. It's pretty cool. Another code mod that I really love is the showstopper mod. This one just freezes time. That's it. I just activated the showstopper mod and now it froze my bullets. As you can see, it just freezes everything. I also just froze this Ford. Are you okay, Ford? I don't think he's okay. This mod just allows you to make funny stuff like this because you can freeze time. And that's why I like this mod so much. So yeah, you can create some pretty cool scenes with this time freeze mod okay so now we got avatars there are a lot of avatars in bone lab but i got a couple favorites this thing is called big fold <laughs> look at me bro this thing is so sexy especially like the big ass forehead i look like a don't never buy no we from the gas station bro yeah this guy's pretty big as you can see i'm crouching right now i just think this head looks really funny and the fact that he's big is also cool anyway let's go to the next avatar this is adam smasher this is probably the best rated avatar because it has some sick guns these guns are literally attached to my avatar that's what makes it so cool and they work as well you've got this gun on my right arm and this gun on my left arm and we're gonna test them on some fort 
Oh my god. This gun is way too overpowered. What about the other one? Oh my god. Yeah, this avatar is really cool. I believe it's the first avatar to implement guns into the avatar. And that's why this avatar is so cool. I also really like this Mario avatar. It looks pretty cool from Mario 64. I think this Mario avatar is pretty cool. Especially if you've seen or played Mario 64. You're probably thinking, what the hell is this avatar? That's what I thought as well. But these big legs make me go so fast. I'm just going so fast. I'm zooming through the entire map right now. What the hell? Yeah, this avatar looks really dumb. But because it's so fast, it makes it really cool. The next one is Iron Giant. And this guy is too big to fit into the mirror. Wait, maybe he's not. Being so big is just so much fun. Because, like, you can just throw them away. <laughs> because this guy is so strong. So, yeah. If you like being a big avatar, I would definitely download this one. So, the next one is the Mystery Hunter avatar. This guy has a mystery box on his arm. And that makes it so cool. As you can see, it would just give me a random weapon like this. I just got my weapon. So yeah, that's the mystery hunter avatar. It would just give you random guns. And the fact that this is implemented into an avatar is so cool. And these guns are pretty sick too. The next avatar is the Pavlov monster. This one is so sick. It looks exactly like the one from Pavlov. And yeah, these things work as well. So that makes it really cool. I'll show it right now on a fort. It's a little janky, but it does make some noise. And it also slices. So yeah, this is pretty cool. So yeah, that's the Pavlov monster avatar. I also love the Spider-Man avatar. I just think it looks really clean. That's why I also use it in some of my thumbnails, as you can see right here and here. And yeah, also with the Spider-Man mod, this avatar looks so cool. This is just really cool, just webbing around while being Spider-Man. So yeah, that's the Spider-Man avatar. Okay, now we got NPCs. We got the BB-8 NPC. Yeah, what's up, Leo, bro? Dude, this NPC is kind of cool. It's kind of cute. I don't think it has too many voice lines, but it's still kind of cool. Oh, stop rolling away. Yeah, no, you're getting shot. I want to know what happens if I shoot him. Okay, you can't kill him, sadly, but it's still a funny thing. Next up, we got the Steve NPC. Yo, what's up, bro? Oh, what? That just kills him instantly? Yeah, this thing is just pretty goofy, but it's kind of funny having a Steve NPC. Oh, wait, he can fight? Yo, come on, then. Oh, damn, I killed him. So, yeah, the Steve NPC, pretty funny. Next, we got the Dismemberable NPCs. I love these because these are so cool. They have different blood as well. It's pretty cool. Let's use the Thunder Gun to actually dismember this female. Oh my god. I think this is an insane NPC mod. There's like four different of these. Oh my god. Yo, what's up, bro? That's the dismemberable NPCs. They are kind of cool. Next up, we got 5 meter 4. This guy is just pretty big, but it's also pretty bugged. He's kind of strong, though. He can take loads of bullets. For some reason, he makes the noise of an Omni-Man. But yeah, it's still kind of funny having a big fort. Here I got the Boneworks Nobody. And this is pretty crazy. This actually looks like the Boneworks Nobody. It's so cool. For the people that have played Boneworks, seeing this in Bone Lab, it's so weird. That's the Boneworks Nobody. This thing is sick. Oh my god. Now we got the Fort Heads NPC. They just jump towards you. I'm gonna spawn so many of these. Why do they jump towards me? Oh my god, what the hell is this? This NPC is just weird. So yeah, that's the Fort Head NPC. See? This one is weird, but it's so funny. I also love this head crab one. This one is so weird. It's from Half-Life Alex. These head crabs look so cool. It's basically just a crablet, but then from Half-Life Alex. And it's so creepy. Yeah, this one looks so creepy. Look at this. It even sticks on your head like this. That's so weird. So yeah, that's the head crab NPC. Now we've got the Andrew Tate NPC. This one is stupid, but it's funny. Yo, what's up, bro? <laughs> it makes some dumb noises whenever you hit it. And it makes a farting noise whenever you kill it. Why is it so oiled up as well? What the fuck? Dude, this thing is so light. Anyway, that's the Andrew Tate NPC. Now we got the Spider-Man NPC. <laughs> Dude, he's kind of fast. What the hell? This one is kind of light. They should have made it a little bit heavier. All right, anyway, that's the Spider-Man NPC. Next up, we've got the Flushed Man NPC. This one's kind of goofy, but the flush head is kind of cool. The voice lines are also kind of dumb. No big deal. That really hurts. They fight each other? No way. Dude, why are they just staring at each other but not fighting? All right, let's finish him. What? I love this NPC just because of the voice lines. It's pretty funny to just fight them. So yeah, that was the flushed man NPC. Let's go to the next one. You also have this Rick and Morty NPC. It also has some voice lines. 
Damn. <laughs> I wonder what he says if he's dead. Oh, what? His face changes whenever you kill him. That's so cool. That's crazy. And his shirt also rips. Dude, I love the blood on this as well. So yeah, that's some pretty cool stuff that you don't see at any other NPCs. You also have Rick. I want to see how his face is going to look like if you kill him. Oh my God, they do the same. That's like stitches right here. The shirt is like a little dirty here. That's so cool. They're also pretty bright. Like this model is pretty cool. So yeah, those are the Rick and Morty NPCs. They're quite cool. Some other fun mods are explosives. Just like this micro new grenade. This thing, it's basically a new. Look at this. It just explodes. You can do so much fun stuff with this, such as nuke an entire group of forts. I'm just gonna nuke all of these guys. It's gonna be so satisfying. Oh my god. They just flew everywhere. I just spawned a bunch of dismemberable NPC. Their legs and arms will fall off with this thing. Oh, look at all the blood. What the hell? Oh my god. Look at this rampage. You need this. Oh, what happened to him? Oh my god, the shoes right here. So yeah, this new grenade can be so much fun to play around with. Okay, so the next explosive is the monkey bomb. This thing is quite funny. If you activate it, it will just basically like spin around and then it will explode. The reason I like this mod is because you can constrain this bomb to an NPC and he does not escape death. Oh my god. Yeah, these things are just loads of fun to mess around with because it's such a funny animation. So yeah, that was the monkey bomb. Now there's also some horror mods like Nico's next bot. These things are basically pictures and they will chase you like this one. Oh my god. So yeah, those things are basically pictures that will chase you and they're called next bot. They don't even look that scary until you spawn stuff like Obunga. Yeah, and these things are so loud and they just chase you. So yeah, these are next bots. These are quite scary if you have pictures like these. The scariest one this is probably the scariest one so yeah if you want some scary pictures that chase you download these next bots another fun horror mod and this one is so scary it's called scp173 and this thing basically chases you also it makes you blink every eight seconds like that and when the game makes you blink this thing comes closer like that if i look away now it will come straight to me look oh my god so yeah that's scp173 if you really like horror mods you should definitely download this one another really scary mod is so something sinister this is also a next bot and it will chase you around the entire map it will not stop chasing you and i need to fly so i can explain this i'll spawn a couple more of them that makes it even more scary look at them all just chasing you oh my god this is probably my favorite horror mod so yeah that's the something sinister mod one mod i also love is this cannon you gotta put some of these cannonballs in the cannon and then you shoot it let's see what this cannon does to her that must be painful. So yeah, this cannon is so much fun to play around with. This mod is the drone kit. You basically have a drone with a flamethrower. You can fly it with this controller thingy. And you can also see what this drone sees on this beautiful 4K screen. The fact that this one has a camera makes it so much fun to play around with. So yeah, that's the drone mod. So yeah, those were the top 50 bone lab mods of all time. Thank you so much for watching until the end. Shout out to all these people for leaving a comment on my latest video. Right. Bye.